Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audio File. This is the Tri XHBB Kai, and these are my Honest Audio File impressions. I want to thank Keep Hi-Fi for sending over the Tri XHBB Kai for review to greatly appreciate it. Keep Hi-Fi, you rock. All right, so the Tri XHBB Kai. This is a collaboration between Try and Hawaii Bad Boy or HBB or Bad Guy Good Audio Reviews. It'll set you back $80 on Keep Hi Fi's website and it includes a DLC dynamic driver. It's 36 ohms of impedance and 114 decibels of sensitivity and it has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz. The Kai comes in a very uh, simple unboxing experience. And in fact, if you've gotten any other Tri products, you might feel like you're getting a little gypped um, because of the simplicity. But don't worry, you still get a lot of, of the accessories that Tri always includes. Not going to bother to open the box. It just is a plain white box with a few goodies on the inside. You will get a carrying case that has the Tri logo on it. And then on the inside, you'll get a cleaning tool, a cleaning cloth, and some silicone tips. You're going to get on the tips, let's open these up here, two types of silicone tips, small, medium, and large of each. You're going to get ones that are wide bore, and then you're going to get ones that are narrow bore. And both of them work very well. They do give you slightly different uh, sonical differences. With the wider bore tip, you're going to end up with a little bit more balanced of a sound. And then with the more small tip, you're going to get a little bit more V-shaped, a little more elevation in the base and a little bit more elevation up top, but the mids will be more recessed. I used the wide bore stock tips with the Kai. Uh, pairing wise with the Tri XHBB Kai is extremely easy. There is no concerns of needing additional power or running a balance or anything like that. It played very well on everything that I used, whether it was a DAP, a dongle, or desktop. It was a little bit sensitive on some of the desktop gear, so I had to use something like an IE match from IFI. All right, let's talk about the Kai itself. Now, the Kai is a unique color design. It's gold and blue. I kind of like the color of it. It's well built. It's a little bit on the chunky side and it has a very, very subtle lip to it. It is a little bit on the larger side, so it may not fit all ears in that regard. And it is a little bit on the hefty side. I found that it fits okay, but it is a little bit uncomfortable. After about an hour or so, I found that it was kind of begging to be released from my ears and to take a slight break. Also, I found that at times, if I moved my head a lot, it would kind of move around. And it didn't matter which tip I had in, they just, the weight of them kind of pull and it just kind of falls out of the ear. Cable-wise is nice. It's nice and soft and light. It does have a little bit of a problem of a twisting here, but not too bad. Overall, I find that the fit, design, and comfort of the Kai is good for the price point. Could be a little bit better. Before we get into the sound of the Tri XHB Kai, I want to thank my supporters on YouTube memberships and Patreon. Do greatly appreciate everything that you provide to the channel and for sacrificing a little bit from your daily and monthly financial funds 
in order to give back to the channel and to support it. I do greatly appreciate all the sacrifices that you make. All the funds that are used or provided are used to give back to the channel and as far as reviews provided gear that is reviewed or used in comparisons or to further enhance the experience through either microphones or lighting or th those type of things so i do greatly appreciate everything that my supporters provide to the channel if you're interested in becoming a supporter of the channel please check out the links down below also, while you're down there, don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. Do greatly appreciate that. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All right, so the Tri XHB Kai. How's it sound? So the Kai has big bass. And when I say big bass, I mean, there's a lot of bass. There's a lot of quantity of bass. It's got some sub bass kick to it. There's some mid bass thump to it. And there's also a little bit of upper bass presence. There's a lot of bass. It's the emphasis of the Kai. And it's a fun bass. I really do enjoy the bass of the Tri Kai. I find that it has... A, a lot of girth, good body to it. There's nice impact and slam, and it'll really get down and rumble and grumble, but also at the same time, it'll keep the toes tapping. I find that the Kai has good details and good resolution, and that it has nice tonality to it. It has a good tone, good timbre, and everything sounds proper. I do wish that it had a little bit more detail and a little bit better resolution, but overall, I really do enjoy the Kai's bass, and it, it definitely is the emphasis of the Kai. The mids. The mids of the Kai are nice. Uh, they have a good body to them. They have a natural tonality to them, and they... they they fit, I guess would be a word that I would use for the Kai. They, they just kind of fit the presentation. They, they do what they're supposed to do. They give good vocals with good, good tonality and nice timbre. And the detail retrieval and resolution, just like the bass, is okay. And I do wish that I had a little bit more in that regard. But overall, I find that the mids are... The vocal presentation, the instrumentation uh, presentation is is good. It 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 just kind of fits the overall presentation that Try and HBB were going for. It's just a very pleasing, very natural sound, and it, it keeps everything flowing. Going into the treble now, the treble is laid back. It is rolled off, especially up top. And I find that it's, again, just like the mids, it's just, it, it fits. It's very pleasing. And it has enough, just enough sparkle and energy to keep things going. But at the same time, I wish it had more. I wish that there was just a little bit more excitement. Overall, the presentation of the Kai up top is kind of boring. It's just kind of like, meh. I wish that it had a little bit more excitement. And it, that it at times can sound a little bit stuffy and I wish I had a little bit more air and just a little bit more separation, but the tonality is good. The timbre is good and the detail retrieval and resolution, just like the mids and the bass is all right. So overall, I find that the frequency response of the Kai is good. It's a very nicely balanced. Everything's pretty cohesive. It's a little bit too laid back for, for my take, but it has the big bass and that's what it's going for it is a fun and thumpy type of sound signature. And so the Kai pulls that off very well. Soundstage. Soundstage is okay. This is not going to wow you as far as width. It's just an okay width. I, I wish that it was slightly wider. At times it also can sound like there's two speakers on the side of my head. It, it, it does it, it never removes the fact that there are IEMs in my ears. It always I'm always reminded that there's two things over here, one on each side. Imaging is okay, things track, but it's not the best. It's not the most precise and accurate. Depth is a little small. It does sound cramped at times and a little bit crowded. 
And then as far as layering, layering gets a little confused on busier tracks, but for the most part, the Kai's soundstage is okay. It's nothing spectacular, but it's adequate. I do wish that the detail retrieval was a little bit better. It really does seem to lack on the Kai. That seems to be the, the one thing that really kind of, mm, I wish there was more. And then the resolution is okay for the details that it retrieves. I just wish that it could present it a little bit better. And then the other thing that the Kai really struggles with is separation and of instruments. Sometimes it just doesn't seem like there's enough space between instruments and you really can't define everything properly. Overall though, I do like the Kai and I think it's a solid option at its price point. How does it compare to a couple other IEMs in its price point? You have the Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus. The Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus has slightly better tone and timbre, a little bit more natural, and it's a little bit more balanced throughout. It's not quite as laid back and uh, kind of eh, eh, up top. It does have more sparkle and energy and a little bit better air and space and has a little bit better separation. Soundstage does sound a little bit deeper and a little bit better imaging on the T3 Plus, but overall they're pretty close. The Kai does a do does do a slightly better in the bass, especially in impact and presentation of thumping and just uh, getting down. Next up we have the Moondrop Aria. Now this is the original. This is not the Snow Edition, and I find that the Moondrop Aria is significantly better at all things when it comes to detail retrieval resolution and tone timbre space separation sound stage width depth and layering the aria just is a significant step compared to the kai now the kai does have more bass more impact in that regard and the Aria is more forward and more aggressive in its presentation versus the T3 Plus and also the Kai. So it kind of depends on what presentation you're looking for. If you're looking for a more analytical and a little bit bolder of a presentation, the Moondrop Aria. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more sparkle and energy and a little bit better tonality and a little bit better detail retrieval, I'd go with the T3 Plus. But if you're looking for something that's a little more laid back, a little more chill and more fun and just a, a good solid bass head IEM, I would go with the Kai. It's a fun sound. And at the price point of $80, you really can't go wrong. It's a very safe sound and very pleasing and engaging. I think everybody will like it. Spend Dave, the honest audiophile. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. Then don't forget to check out all the links down below. There's all kinds of information down there regarding gear lists and music recommendations and how you can contact the channel, follow the channel, support the channel. All that kind of stuff is down below. And don't forget to enjoy the music and that honesty is the best policy.